Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel today. I have some more chat couture goodness for you to share with you guys today. I am using the June Club Couture Transfer and I am so very late. I really wish I would have had way more time to um, work with this and share it with you guys, but I'm hoping that next month will be better. May was out of control for us and June has just been a whole lot of catch up in our life. So I'm getting there. I am getting things figured out and I'm ready to get back to playing and sharing with you guys. So the Club Couture, a little bit about that. Club Couture is like a subscription um, kit from Chalk Couture. You will get an 8x10 transfer like this one every month. And if you're not a Chalk Couture designer, you will get three of our cute little paste packets. So there's just enough um, paste in there to do, <coughs> excuse me, one or two projects at least. Um, I I feel like there's quite a bit of paste in there and you don't use a lot on your projects. So you might be able to get quite a bit out of it. There is lots of other perks as well when you are part of Club Couture in addition to getting that transfer every month. So for $19.99 a month, that um, is what you get. You get the transfer and you get so much else. It's just, it's an awesome little thing if you're interested in learning more about Chalk Couture. So for today's project, obviously I am doing a red, white, and blue theme. I don't decorate a whole lot for the 4th of July. But I do have a few things that I like to set out in the weeks building up to it. Um, this metal board that I'm using is from Michael's. Um, I want to say that it was part of like their wedding decoration. Um, I got it quite a while ago, maybe April or the beginning of May. And I wanted to say it was like for a tablescape. It was something like that, but it had to do with weddings. And I thought that they would be perfect to chalk on. And so I grabbed quite a few of them. So you might see a few of them over the next few videos of Chalk Tour. So um, I wanted to do red, white, and blue, obviously. And I kind of wanted to blend the red and the white together. This technique is great for the ombre effect when you are adding a couple of different uh, shades. But because I'm doing red and white, I thought that it would work just as well, and it did. So I just went ahead and used my finger and blended the two together. And you'll see the white doesn't show up as good as I wanted it to, but you can kind of see how it's blended together. And when I show the photo at the end of the video, you guys will be able to see it a lot better. <clears throat> so, um, like I said, I don't decorate a whole lot, but I do have a few projects that I have done. Last year, I created a really cute um, wreath out of bandanas. I will put that up in the card of this video if you want to go check it out. And then if you follow me over on Instagram, I will share with you guys a little bit of my decorating for the 4th of July. So I'm just using these cute um, pinwheels that have stars on them. And because I wanted to just use it again, I just carefully used my finger to push the transfer down and then add a little bit more chalk to it. Now, in order to do the second part of the pinwheel, I'm going to have to let this dry. I have used my um, heat gun in the past as well. And I did use it a little bit, but it heated up the metal quite a bit too, so I didn't want to ruin it. And because I'm using just a small little area there, I'm just using my little scraper mixer tool to add the chalk paste to the two pinwheel sticks. And then I will just add the red part and that will be my sign. So this is a really cute um, transfer that obviously can be used for the 4th of July. The other word does say celebrate, so I've seen lots of cute birthday ideas with this. Um, the pinwheels are just kind of fun, and there's lots of different things that you could do with them. So getting the fun transfers is always 
um, something to look forward to. Now, we're nearing the end of June and the first part of July, and in addition to getting a new Club Couture transfer, we're getting a new catalog and we're getting so many new products. I'm really excited. As I uh, share this with you guys today, most of the Chalk Couture designers are at ChalkCon and they are going to be learning about all the new things. So I'm excited to be following along um, behind the scenes and see what's new. If, if this is something that you guys are interested in, um, Chalk Couture is a great company to be a part of. Even if you want to just do it as a hobby, it is a lot of fun and you have a lot of different cute options. So, so that is my project for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope to be back to share with you guys lots more fun Chalk Couture goodness in the next couple weeks. Stay tuned! <music>